Hi, and welcome to another micro tutorial. Today we're going to play around with the vocoder device. This device is only available in record if you have reason, so you record standalone users will unfortunately not be able to follow along. Let's get started. In the first part of this video, we'll use the vocoder with a live input from our audio interface and do some robot voice singing. To do this, we'll first need to create a synth. This will be the vocoder carrier. The sound will modulate with our voice. Then, we'll add the vocoder device. If you select the mix device, the vocoder will be patched in as an insert effect. Now, we won't hear anything when playing the Thor device as it's patched through the vocoder. We need to add a modulator input to the vocoder. Flip the rack by hitting the tab key and patch a cable from the audio input from your audio interface to the modulator input on the vocoder. Now, we should be able to hear the output of our Thor device. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we can record what we're playing. So we'll use this track as a record source for another audio track. When you click the Rec Source button for a device, it becomes available as an input for an audio track. So we can select it from the input menu for our audio track. Now we're ready to go. Nice singing there, R2. And here's our recorded performance as an audio clip. And now for the second part. What if you want to add a vocoder to an already existing recording? First, find the audio track you want to add a vocoder to. Create a synth device as a carrier and then a vocoder. Flip the rack and connect the insert effects output on the audio track you want to vocode to the modulator input on the vocoder. And that's it. We can now adjust the volume of the vocoded sound in the mixer and mute the original track if we only want to hear the vocoder. Push me down, push me down. No, I don't like to try it Running audio through Reason devices. Easy as that. 